everyone. Welcome. Welcome yes. to another first to ten. Today we have two very strong competitors that we're very excited about watching this matchup. We have Falcon, who many of you may know as a very prominent member of the EU UK NRS scene, an excellent commentator and broadcaster himself. And then our own Sensei, the Gab Standard, who runs our training dojo for the Losty Fam community. Um, he works very hard to try and teach us uh, proper ways to play the game, and some of us are better at listening than others. <laughs> um, but we're very excited to see this matchup. Um, Gab. You know, he started out playing some Papa Gearus and Jackie and has basically become a next-gen Jackie loyalist. So we're going to be seeing a variation that we're not really used to watching um, with next-gen Jackie. Mm -hmm. And then Falcon, I know that he went back and forth for a while trying to kind of find his character and he seems to have settled on Nightwolf here. Um, so this should be a really good matchup and hopefully everybody is excited, pumped, ready to go and enjoy. Yay! I'm gonna get started here. So this is the shaman uh, variation, right? There have been other night wolves. I believe so, oh, yeah, and no, looks like we are getting a retrocade. So we're gonna get yeah. a glimpse at one of our new stages. Also, Fight. looks so good. Yes, it is shaman. Shaman. All right, so Gab is gonna start off with putting out some of that. Uh, it's not exactly a projectile, it's basically a dot damage, sort of a, almost like a puddle of energy that Next Gen Jackie has. Did they buff it? Jackie and Next Gen? Um, yes, this variation did get buffed a little bit off of her, her dive move, which is very similar to Frost Diving, so mm. we'll see if we get some of that. And that'll also be um, her armor breaking move. Jackie's armor breaking move Ooh, is nice. only available in this variation. All right, so Gab coming in with a lot of pressure so far. Both being very respectful. Here we go into a lot of damage combo. And chance for some more dot Ooh. damage. And there it is. The dot damage takes no, him out and no, Gab's no, going to take this first round. round. You see, that's one of the things about this variation and it's not seen very often, but its real strength is that it can just drain the life out of your opponent if you can kind of get some of those puddles out there. Alright, but we all know Nightwolf can be extremely dangerous in the corner, so... Alright, but great job, Gab, getting out of there. Alright, big overhead in into that. And a grab from Falcon. Doing his best to keep Gab Whoa, in the corner. Oh, but like Jackie overhead. with that. Ooh. Yeah, this is gonna be a lot of damage. Putting down that puddle. Also gotta watch out for that. Oh, and there was that, oh, that, was that, that diamond. Oh. And those forward twos. Oh, but misses the next forward two. Into a grab, though. And that nine frame mid of Jackie's just so oppressive and difficult to get away from. Jackie's and Gap is gonna take this first match to go up 1-0. Mm. Hello, everyone in the chat. Sarang Bay, hello dear, hello my wifey. <laughs> Hi Victor, Melina Forever, good to see you. Okay. Hi Antonio. So Gab Standard is going to be at the hello, left, hello right? Yonsei. Hmm? Sorry, hmm. what was that, Lofty? Gab is going to be at the left side, right? Okay, I'm gonna change. Yes. Yes. People were saying I like Lofty, huh? No You're not changing the... In the previous uh, first <laughs> Okay, now I do. I'm gonna pay attention to it. Okay, so Falcon is gonna stick with the same uh, variation? Yes. Yeah. <clears throat> Falcon in the chat says, God, I hate this stage. <clears throat> Damn spiders. Yes, we understand spiders? and agree with you. It's it's the lost hive of the Kaitid. Oh, this one! Place. Oh, yeah. Yes. yeah, this is the worst yes. one. I was so afraid that we were going to get a stage fatality yeah. for this, but so I was far, expecting not that. yet. I... Maybe not. Alright, so Falcon coming in with a lot of pressure so far. Mm. Alright. Nice throw. Gab finding his way out of the corner. He's got a stage of some projectiles. Facing 
Oh, and there's a good punish. And the grab. Belton's gonna take this first round very decisively. All right, so coming in very aggressive this time seemed to work out quite well for Falcon. Try to change things up a bit from the first match. Hey, we'll eat him. Oh, and now we've got that dot damage, and Falcon is stuck with it. Now we've got to be careful. He can't get in too close because Gab is laying down those puddles. All right, and here comes that big overhead. Putting him in the corner. Right, the other thing about this variation of Jackie, um, which we haven't seen Gab try to do yet, is that she does have the dome, the tech dome in this oh, yeah, variation. Indeed. Um, and it gives him less damage or something. Gab can, right? Yeah. And if Gab can get that tech, oh, hey. a huge crushing blow. Whoa. All right. And very, very decisive match this time for Falcon. So we are tied up one and one. So very strong first match for Gab, very, very strong second match for Falcon, and it seems like this is going to be an extremely competitive first to ten based on what we've seen so far. He was um, spacing really well, Falcon. Yes. So yeah, the tech dome, and then the other thing about that in next gen with the tech dome is that if Gab can get that out, and Jackie can get a back throw on you when she's in there, she has a new crushing Jeez. blow that isn't available in her other two variations. What? Whoa. Um, which is off of her back throw, yep. Oh. So there are a couple benefits to this variation. There's an extra crushing blow, <laughs> there's her armor breaking move. God made the um, smart uh, choice a long time ago. Yes. <laughs> you knew about Gab this. was prepared. He, he <laughs> knew that eventually this variation would get buffed and he would be the only one ready like, to go. Ha, ha, I'm a loyal, I'm a next gen loyal. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Goizy is here. Oh yeah, Balina versus Goizy soon. Round one. Yes. We're hopefully we'll be setting that up. Um, Koizy, we know that you have signed up uh, to do a first to ten, and mm. we're trying to find a appropriate date for that to work. We'd like to pair you up against Baylina Khan. Um, she said that she's down for it, so we just need to find a date that works for everybody. Yes. But, all right, here comes Falcon again, extremely aggressive. The overhead, the overhead, and into the arrow. All right, Gab trying to fight nice back. Pressure. Here we go with those forward two twos, and this dot damage out. She's so scary up close. Yes, she Ooh, is. Smart it's so grab. hard to find an opening. No. But the one thing with Jackie, um, her basic pressure moves up close are the same across variations. So even though Falcon isn't going to be very familiar with maybe the special moves for next gen. He does know exactly how to deal with Jackie up close. Yeah. I'm sure he's had plenty of experience with upgraded Jackies. Yeah, true. Keep leaping. Oh, the jump! Oh, good jump in. And this is going to be close to the end here. Ah, uh, the poke. And I hope to finish it out. All right, and so another very strong match for Falcon. Seems to have kind of gotten a sense of what Gab was doing in the first match. Um, felt his way out and has. I think he ducked his high and very... he punished. Yes, exactly. That was really a good read. This variation is good. I don't see much uh, people playing. Which one, Belina? The next gen? Or Nightwolf? Because both. <laughs> I never see them. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> we never see them. That's why I was really looking forward to this uh, set. Jackie Briggs. I, th yes, I think Gab we're gonna stick with them. Is there a Gab is the uh, one next gen Jackie player in existence, <laughs> and um, Falcon is one of a handful of Shaman players. <laughs> Dan says, I think we will see more Shaman now. Yeah, most likely. Um, Dan, what about you? Are you gonna <laughs> yeah, try saw... out Shaman? Yeah, I think you should, Dan. He says both, to be honest. Mm. Yeah, yeah. They're two very rare variations. <laughs> Alright, so... The one thing with Jackie um, that people have been talking about kind of since the beginning is maybe one of her only weaknesses before Upgraded existed anyway was the need to get in, which can sometimes be difficult. Oh, yeah, and in this yeah. variation is pretty much... kind of the toughest for her to deal with, but... 
Gab doing a very good job with spacing, working his way in carefully, and now he's got Falcon oh, in the nice corner right where he wants him. Tech Dome down. Huge combo. Oh, so he wanted to go for that back grab, Ooh, but... That was a nice one. Getting... The overhead! The overhead. And then into the, the oh, and it is! Into the fatal blow! Yeah, All right, this is so gonna end Very it, right? nicely done by Falcon. Yes, this is gonna be death. Um, so Gab with an extremely strong round, laying yeah, down a lot damage. of pressure, getting Falcon trapped in the corner, getting that dome down, doing everything he really should have done, but Falcon with one smart move into a huge punish just stole that round away. Nice grab. Ah, uh, the overhead. And there's that overhead again. Alright, so Gab's gonna have to keep an eye out for that overhead, he's getting hit by it quite a lot, which... Any of us who have played against Nightwolf know is a common occurrence, a common source of suffering. <laughs> Alright, wait for the grab. That was a nice read of Falcon. It keeps ducking his eye. I'm punished. Yeah, it's uh... Alright, and that's gonna end this match another round for Falcon. So that is basically what we're seeing here a lot, Lossy, as you commented on, uh, is... Falcon is doing a very good job of reading Gab when he's going in for either a high or for a grab, and then mm. punishing those moves for a huge yeah, really amount a nice of damage. Yeah, reaction on that. Um, and then the other thing that Gab really needs to watch out for is that um, he seems to be, exactly, blocking low quite a bit yeah. and getting hit by that overhead. So just a couple of things, but again... Jackie really needs to get up close in order to open Nightwolf up yep. at all. Nightwolf has a bit more reach. Um, oh, this arrows. So Gab has just got to kind of figure out exactly how to get in while still avoiding that overhead and not really? getting punished trying to go for a high. He can't use his projector like far full screen? Yeah, not projectile. What is it called? Like what uh, next yes, gen the, the uh, is? The, grenade launcher. I guess technically they are grenades. The the oh. dot damage inducing <laughs> puddle making grenades. Yes, they don't go full screen, so uh, oh, can't really God. do much. So yeah, it's getting all the time. Um, there's there's a I would say a decent amount of range, as you can see, that amount oh. of range that uh, is basically what they have. So it's pretty far. It's a good amount, but it in itself doesn't do a ton of damage mm. unless you are basically standing in it. So. Certainly not as good as Nightwolf arrows in this variation. Yeah. And it's a low, right? Or in the mid? No, I think um, the... Alright, so... Good price to get him in the corner? Yeah, I'm doing his best to get in. Laying down the pressure. Alright, here we go, an opportunity. Ooh, oh, break but away. a good breakaway there. Oh, the and there's the overhead again. And this is going to be the round. So this is something that I'm thinking about now watching this. Um, typically, if people are breaking away out of a Jackie combo, yeah. it's going to be something similar to what we just witnessed. And I'm not really sure how that air dive bomb is going to be particularly yeah. useful as an armor okay, breaker in response there. to that. It doesn't <laughs> really seem So that's why I get, uh, used this uppercut, but then he's right, yeah, he gonna hit it. Alright, and there we've got... No sweat. I keep thinking the question what happens, but it's not a counter. And the overhead again! Ooh. Okay, so... Dalton is doing a great job uh, getting these overheads out there in order to take... Oh, the and there's the pressure low. low to end the round! With the dead woods in the background! So it's 4-1 for Falcon? Yep. Hi Gabriel! Hi <clears> Walid! <throat> Dan says these grabs are working out for Falcon. Yes, Dan. Yes. Yeah, Gab, Gab likes grabs, though. Yes. Uh, <laughs> giving shout out to grabs. Gab is also a fan of grabs. <laughs> yeah. He is a supporter of grabbing. <laughs> so I wonder if Gab um, and anybody else in the chat wonder if you've been Jeez. watching any of Foxy Grandpa's uh, streams <laughs> as of late with his um. I've seen his Twitter only videos. Grabs, <laughs> only stops. It's Shiba <laughs> now, right? I, <laughs> yes, I imagine that, that everyone here is a supporter of um, only grabs. <laughs> uh, hashtag buff grabs. Yes. Ah, <laughs> uh, Gab is not choosing someone. All right, so it looks like Gab oh, is taking a moment the, to, to think. Yeah. Maybe he just needed a moment to kind of 
take a break, a breather, and kind of think yeah. about his strategy. Um, you know, as we mentioned previously, Gav has pretty much been a next-gen Jackie loyalist for a while since mm. he dismissed Papa Garrus near the beginning of the game. Um, yeah, that was kind of disappointing. I was looking forward to his Garrus. They didn't like him so, that much. I imagine that he's probably going to be sticking with Jackie, unless yeah. he's been playing with one of our new characters, which mm. I'm not sure. You know, one thing about Gab, he is a Jackie loyalist, but he does lab with everyone, as we know, True. so... He could Ooh, be nice hiding hits. something. Whoa! Nice conversion? Oh, and perfect! Getting that dot damage down in the corner and then trapping him there is exactly what you want to do with next gen. So very well played there by Gab, but now we've got the overhead into this nice big combo. Still very close match so far. Ooh, Gab tried to work his way in. Managed to avoid the punish and worked out quite well for him. Oh, and here we go again. Nice pressure. That Jackie pressure. Alright, and Gab's gonna take that round. Okay, so it looks like Gab was thinking about exactly what's been happening, tried to mix it up a little bit more, blocking low a little bit less that time around, getting more dot damage out. Yeah, Alright, good breakaway. Oh, but stands up right back into another combo starter. And a grab! Can you do no better? Another grab. Okay, here we go. Some good pressure from Gab. Alright, and Jackie can come back at pretty much any point in time, so this is still anyone's match. Yeah, that was a really smart breakaway. Oh, alright. Alright, but Gab, uh, looking a lot stronger in this match yeah. so far, seems to have uh, really thought about some of the things that uh, he was having difficulty with and adapted quite well, so... Good breakaway. Oh, the overhead. right into the overhead. Alright, so Falcon being very successful with landing that overhead and getting a huge amount of damage in the aftermath of it. He presses All really good. First Oh! What happened? <laughs> <laughs> I did the down one into the low uh, move and yeah. Yes! <laughs> Double hit at the same time. Alright, and Falcon is gonna take this this uh, particular match, but again, this was a much stronger match uh, for Gab. Yeah, definitely. Deeps you have been adapting quite a bit, so still got hit by some of those overheads at the end there. This seems to be the biggest problem, but he wasn't going so much for a lot of those grabs that he was trying to go for in the first couple of matches, so he was able to avoid those punishes and get in with more pressure himself. So Electric if he just slide. continues with that strategy Two. and then maybe Wolf. avoids a couple more of those overheads, <laughs> yeah. um, he might be in, in good shape going forward. I mean, in this variation, apparently, now I'm looking at it, like he hits you once with the overhead, he can do a lot of damage. Then, yes, exactly. when are you picking dead. up this variation? <laughs> Dad, look at these ridiculous combos. You know, you're a huge fan of the overhead and you're constantly, you know, killing us with it. So yes. I imagine that if you were to pick up this variation, that you would just be decimating people left and right. I just she knew the game. getting upset. He said, Dad, do not pick this variation. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so Gab patiently trying to work his way in here. Ooh, trying to get it? Alright, good getting out that dot damage. Oh, goes for the dive the edge, but gets hit by an arrow! Smart use of the arrow there by Falcon. Almost 200 damage. Yeah, that's Ooh. not safe. Got punished. Nope. Ooh, nice that oh, one! Great anti air. Alright, so Gab yeah, going for a couple of little more unsafe things there, yeah. trying to experiment and find whatever ways possible to open Falcon up. And, uh, kind of risky. Unfortunately, ended up getting punished for a lot of it, but just trying to figure out what to do with uh, this Nightwolf pressure. Well, Falcon knew he was going to break away, and he hit him with a down too. So much damage. Ooh, and this is gonna be bad, no opportunity for breaking Whoa, away. Oh, down too. nice down too. <laughs> 
Oh, oh and there's finisher. going to be the crushing blow to end it. Is this a right, escape so failed crushing blow requirement or? I'm not sure, you know, I think, again, this is another one of those uh, variations I'm not particularly as familiar with, so yeah. if anyone else in the chat, if you play Shaman or know anything about Shaman, <laughs> Let us know. Um, does it have to be escape failed in order to get that crushing blow, or is it just, okay, Dan says yes, you need escape failed. Ah, uh, right. okay. Is it also Thank your you, variation? I'm Dan really says, confused. also, he says, maybe he will play this, and thanks for the idea. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm sorry, Steven, I'm sorry. <laughs> Wait, Dan says, I'm gonna pick up Shaman only for Yonce. Oh, oh, jeez, Dan. <laughs> well, Yonce is going to choose Jade, I guess. Because she knows how much you love Jade. Especially the oh, new wait, Jade. So Yes, so it'll be uh, Shaman versus Jade for uh, Dan's enjoyment. <laughs> <laughs> Round one. <laughs> Wait, Adam says I wouldn't know even though I use Shaman. <laughs> that was really risky. All right, so Gablang got a lot of pressure. Nice pressure. Ooh. Oh bad. Alright, so that was a smart move because we see Falcon mm -hmm. getting out of there with jumping a lot. This is how he's successfully escaping the pressure, so Gab mm -hmm. tried to prevent that, keep him in the corner. Wow, he stopped the Obad with a down line. Oh, and there he goes again. Alright. Wow, nice. Alright, so an excellent round, very smartly played by Gab. Kept him in the kind corner. of reading exactly how Falcon was gonna try to get out of there and keeping him trapped. <gasps> Was it meant to be happening? The shoot? I don't think that was what Gab was probably going for. I think that was probably an input error. Yeah, I think so too. Oh, nice punish. Okay, good. Nice punish. And this could be a ton of damage right here. And it broke away. Ooh, break away into the wake up buttons, but a good break away from Gab too. Ooh, counter. This, this variation of Night Wolf really is. <laughs> Fight. Kind of, yeah. It does a lot of in terms of the damage that you can yeah. do. I didn't know it did so much damage. No escape failed. I'm hit by the, oh, overhead. And the overhead again. Flawless block. Escape oh, failed. Grab. Escape failed. Oh, this is going to be another grip. Oh, Gab goes for the rollout, but ends up rolling out. It seemed it looked like he rolled out backwards by mistake and ended up getting trapped in the quarter as a yeah. consequence. So, Falcon. Seven for Falcon at the moment? Really, just with the insane pressure this entire yeah. set so far. And he uses the uh, Obad pretty smart. <laughs> Dead. Now you know how much damage Nightwolf's other variations do, aren't you happy I choose Ancestral Jeez. for you? No, Dan. That one is 50-50. <laughs> this one is less 50-50. <laughs> but I, I can feel it whenever Gab gets hit by the overhead, because that happens a lot to me whenever I play against the Dan's Nightwolf. And it really hurts. I'm like, oh my gosh, why didn't I see it coming? Don't fall in. I always block low or something, I don't know why. Yeah, it's a bit difficult. Well, and I wonder if Gab is kind of reacting to Nightwolf um, because he's more used to playing against Matoka Warrior, possibly, and he's used to a, a bit of a different yeah, that could be. way of opening people up with Nightwolf. I'm not totally sure. Oh, Deadpool stage. All right, but we've got Deadpool, which... I actually, I just really love this stage. I know some people said they feel like it's a little bit too much in comparison to the old version of the Deadpool, really? which I get, but I, I think it looks great. Yeah, and I the think music it's is awesome. And I, I like the lightning. All right, so now we've got some dot damage slowly chipping away at Falcon's life. And Ooh, they're both trying failed. to make their way in, but an escape field grab. So they better the jump in. again. No more chip avoid. All right, and so this is unfortunately what we're kind of getting a chance to see here. 
is the weakness of next gen Jackie yeah. of this variation. Um, with either of her other variations, of course, she has a lot of other options once she opens you up to kind of extend those combos, do more damage, and keep the pressure on herself. Hmm. With next gen, she just has these basic moves, and if she can't oh, get the dot damage out before starting, then she only has a couple things that she can do. Um, and if your opponent is aware of them and adapts to them quickly, then you're not in as good of a position as you would be with the other variations. But all right, Crushing there's that big crushing blow of Jackie's, uh, but again, right into the overhead. The down two is pretty good to use it, because he knows he's right. trying to break away. Ooh, grab escape fail was before, yeah, the crushing oh, blow. Oh, yes. So right before that, we actually saw an extremely impressive anti-air into a pretty good combo there from Dab to try and push Falcon into the corner, but again, gets grabbed and uh, yeah. escape failed to kind of just drain his life away at the end. So again, what we're seeing in the score, Falcon is obviously putting in a very dominant performance, but in terms of what we're actually seeing on screen, Gab is actually doing quite a lot of work in uh, yeah. opening him up and Just doing some great things with anti air and come. the pressure, but yeah, exactly. It's just he's a... Uh, or the overhead? He's fallen for that overhead a lot, and that yeah. is really just what is killing him. Tournament. But Gab is a really uh, loyal uh, next-gen user. Yes, he is loyal. He is loyal. It's not gonna Yonsei, I'll play against Molly in the next first to ten. No, Yase, no, 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 no. <laughs> we'll have... <laughs> We're gonna have two Emerald Defender Jades and, uh... <laughs> I think everyone's gonna like that. each other like crazy. <laughs> Alright. So, okay, now we've got that dot damage out. This is a good position for Gab to start in, but does get grabbed. Oh, Alright, goes for the rollout. It was kind of... I see what he was going for there in order to try yeah, and get away from that overhead the and the string. pressure. But exactly, Nightwolf's reach with that string is still large enough that... Uh, or yeah. far enough that he was still hit by it. Oh, and the, the arrow projection. shot with the lightning to close it out. What can Gap play besides Jackie? Uh, Papa G, but he gave up on him. So I think... Uh, he's only focusing on this variation of Jackie, I think. Yeah. Victor, Maybe. did someone say Kyrus? Well, no offense but you. <laughs> <laughs> yes, we understand. We understand, Victor. <laughs> I wonder if Gyrus has any loyal fans. Like, people that truly love Gyrus. I think he has. If but you're also... a loyal Gyrus fan in the chat, if you just have love for him, please let us know. We want to know if there's anybody out there that truly loves Gyrus. Not just, you know, picked him up because he was kind of strong, but you think he's awesome and you enjoy playing him. <laughs> or you picked him know. up because <laughs> what happened to him, Blood of the Sea? <laughs> <laughs> oh yes, weird. B and B, you're right, Gur, Gur. But does he love Gyrus? Does he love him? Oh yeah. Does he have like affection for him? He I seems, think he does. I don't know. He seems like he would because Gur seems like he's we'll just see. so lovable and kind that mm -hmm. he must Jack love him. <laughs> yeah. There was once that I posted that I uh, I was playing with Dimitri versus Dan. Dan was uh, Gyrus, and I posted on Twitter like my new main. Like joking around with Sub-Zero and he said, wow, I thought you were picking up Gyros, like join the Gyros squad. <laughs> <laughs> so I guess he's a fan. Alright, so we are on set point here for Falcon. Yeah. Um, Alright, and Gab sticking with next gen Jackie strong. to the end. He's, you know, as some people in the chat were wondering if he might oh, switch what? to somebody else, but as we've been saying, no, he next is a loyal. All day, every day. Switch All right, so it's good grab. Haven't seen a ton of grabs uh, from Gab so no. far, even though he does love them. Oh, and yeah, good job there. He avoided the overhead. Oh, but then we get right in with a that one-one stagger from Nightwolf. He got hit by the overhead now. He's about to jump in. And grab. Let him stay in the corner. 
And another one escape failed! So the next one's going to be a crushing off. blow. All right, so uh, we're seeing again also, Nightwolf is an extremely good pressure character himself. Yeah, and in the oh. corner, it's really dangerous. Oh, oh just the overhead blocks it and then goes right for another overhead again, this time pulling it off, so... Crushing overhead into oh, overhead, I don't think it. I saw it coming. And we see in the background here another one of our beautiful brand new stages. Our, I really our love this chamber stage. with the cathedral there in the background, just lovely. Looks so classic. All right, good going for that overhead there. Gab himself, like you know, I could do overheads too. <laughs> <laughs> All right, and here's a chance for some big combo damage from Jackie. On. Ooh, yeah, there we go. Misses the final hit, yeah. but still continuing to lay down the pressure. Yeah, Falcon has still his. Um, oh, but here we go gun. with Jackie. It's not necessarily over. Smart breakaway. Good breakaway. Whoa, that was a nice Great read. Great job relaying he go high and the oh! top damage takes him out. All it's right, the excellent comeback this round. Well Whoa. done by Gab. It was really smart. All right, so he's seeing kind of what he's looking at here is a situation where whether Falcon is going to be overhead or the one one or coming from the air, you really just nice have down. to be. Keeping, keeping yourself focused on above you, because that's where Falcon is coming from. Oh, but there it is, that crushing blow that you mentioned was coming, Lofty, and now... Yeah, yeah he's got a lot to make up. Okay, but here we go! Fatal Blow? This could potentially go into he's the Fatal Blow! He's not using his Fatal Blow! Oh, but he doesn't go for it! Wait! Oh, the tech grab! Oh! Oh. A great tech grab there by Falcon to save himself, but that was an extremely strong um, match from Gab. Yeah, doing a great job in uh, applying the hey, pressure. Friendship. It seems like yes, a friendship. <laughs> Nightwolf's friendship is one of my favorites, my absolute favorite friendships. <laughs> I don't know cute. about you guys. Look, Look at the bear. bear. <laughs> Look at him. <laughs> Yeah, I think if Gabe did the string, the combo into the fatal blow, it would have uh, ended. Yes. But he didn't I choose think for that it. He decided not to go for it, um, and, you know, in the end, that cost him. But still, that was an extremely strong performance by Gab in that final match. Uh, yeah. It is unfortunate. It seems like he kind of got a handle on everything that, that Falcon was doing, but it that didn't really happen until near the end of the set so unfortunately he wasn't able to quite come back from that but you know as we were mentioning throughout the course of this entire set Gap mm. was doing a great job with anti-airing with laying down a ton of pressure with kind of reading a lot of what Falcon was doing he just kept missing that overhead and yeah. because in this variation Nightwolf has such a strong uh, combo that he can do in the aftermath of that overhead that does such a ton of damage. Um, damage every time he got insane. hit by that, that was just yeah. depleting his life. So a very, very strong performance by Falcon, but an excellent job by both of our participants. And, and we really appreciate you both being here and, yeah. and coming out and doing this. You know, I say this every time, but it's because it's true. Um, it takes a lot for people to come out and be willing to kind of put themselves out there and play in front of everybody with all these people watching. So we really thank you for that. Yeah, um, we really we appreciate, appreciate that. it very much. The Falcon says, I do the friendship for the bear. <laughs> yes. <laughs> we love that bear. He's adorable. Super cute. He's adorable. Like, I, yeah. don't, I don't play Nightwolf, but this is one of my favorite friendships. Maybe we should pick him up for this friendship. <laughs> Take him up just for the friendship. Yeah. Ah, I can't though. I can't though, because he's a guy. As, <laughs> as everybody knows, I only play the girls. <laughs> Time to switch.